I like to think about this schema. And you see at the top left, I've got feeding. Feeding is the big picture. The children that you see all have feeding problems, but they don't necessarily all have dysphagia or swallowing problems. So we are going to be focusing more on those children who have a physically or physiologically based swallowing problems along with their feeding problems. But we have to keep that in mind. And then we've got airway. Everyone must have a stable airway in order to feed orally. And then of course the gastrointestinal tract. You know that so many of the children with reflux and irritability in the esophagus and all sorts of GI tract issues are going to make complicating factors for what we can do in direct management for the feeding issues.